In part two of this lesson, we'll continue answering the questions. We ended off with questions two and three. We'll start with question two. How many carbon atoms are there in a 1.3 carat diamond? Diamonds are a form of pure carbon. To do this question, we'll be using the same method as in question one. We need to convert the mass using the atomic weight, and that will bring us to moles. And then we have to convert the moles using Avogadro's number so that we get the atoms. The only hurdle for this question is the fact that they gave us the mass in carats. So we have to convert 1.3 carats to grams. And here's the conversion ratio for that. We'll take 1.3 carats and we'll multiply it by 0 0.20 grams over one carat. By doing it this way, the carat unit will cancel out. And if you add it any other way where the grams are at the bottom and the carats are at the top, this wouldn't happen. So make sure you orient your conversion ratio so that the units cancel out. 1.3 times 0.2 gives us the following. 0 0.26, we end up with two significant figures and that's what we started with, so that's good. So I'll take 0 0.26 grams and multiply it by the atomic weight. Let's find out the atomic weight of carbon. The atomic weight of carbon is 12.0107. Let's write that down. 12.0107 grams per one mole. Now if you think about this, we have to flip this atomic weight. Because by flipping the atomic weight, then the gram units will cancel out. In case you can't see it, I'll do my calculation right here. 0.26 grams times, instead of one mole at the bottom, I'll write it at the top, and you're allowed to do this, 12.0107 grams at the bottom. The gram units will cancel out, leaving us with the number of moles, 0.26 times 1 divided by 12.0107. This gives us 0 0.02 Six, four. Everything after this one is insignificant, but I will continue to write up until this seven just for good measure because we still have one more calculation after this. We can't round right now. You can't round halfway in the question. So I'll write down 0 0.021647 and I'll put a dot underneath the last significant figure. It was this one. So now we will take this number 0 0.021647 moles and multiply it by Avogadro's number, which is shown right there. I don't need to flip this fraction because if I multiply this number by this fraction as it is, I'll end up with the number of atoms because the moles will cancel out. Let me show you. Multiplying this by 6.022 times 10 to the power of 23 atoms over one mole. The mole unit cancels out just as suspected, leaving us with only atoms. Remember, we have to have a number with two significant figures. Using our calculator, and I'll just use this number instead of writing that out because it won't change my outcome, and you can double check by using this. So I'll multiply this number by 6.022 times 10 to the power of 23, and I'll end up with 1.3 times 10 to the power of 22 atoms. That is how many atoms are in this diamond. If you want to see the answer to question three, make sure to watch part three of this lesson.